Xbox Arena, it's dead or alive for. For the Carolina Core, he's won his last 12, but he's looking to make it a Baker's dozen. Brian, off beat Ninja Horde. And with the Chicago Chimera, nobody makes fun of my mama, Jeremy Black Mama Lawrence. I'm real confident against Offbeat. I know he's known as the new DOA master, but I'm not too intimidated. In my opinion, he's the second best DOA player here. He knows when to grab, he knows when to block. He just He's a really solid player overall. I'm like the last one standing, and I have to put a stop to it. I'm going to try to play even smarter than I usually do, though. I'm really uh, pulling for like a 5-1 or a 5-0. I'm going to let him come to me this time. I'm going to be more evasive, and I'm going to take him down. I'm telling you right now, I'm in it to win it. And first up, we've got Offbeat Ninja of the Carolina Corps. 12 and 1, look at that record. 3 and 0 versus Black Mamba, only defeated once by 3D New York's Cali Jarrett in his first matchup. And there is his opponent, Black Mamba, currently 7 and 6, 0 and 3 versus Offbeat on, Ninja. Jeremy. But it could change tonight. Let's check out the characters they'll be playing. Offbeat Ninja is competing as Ayn, a karate master with solid defensive skills and a collection of deadly grabs, who likes to throw his rivals against the wall before he uses them to wipe the floor. Black Mamba is competing as Helena, whose special stance allows her to avoid all mid and high attacks, while her superb high and low combo straight mix-ups can dish out a world of hurt. Dolly, Black Mamba may have lost three times to Offbeat Ninja. However, he's been the most consistent in stealing rounds away. Not to mention the fact that his character matches up very well against Offbeat Ninja's mind. And let's start off in round number one, where Black Mamba has got the first hit of the game. In fact, crunching his opponent down to about 30%. He's playing smart. And you beautiful job. We see Offbeat Ninja with those two, uh, two hits. That uh, uh, Black Mamba goes in for the throw. It was countered by I. Excuse me, by Offbeat Ninja. And uh, I, I guess I'm just taken back a little bit by how awesome Black uh, Black Mamba is playing already. Offbeat Ninja coming right back. He has equalized things up a little bit. There's a throw. An unbelievable Black Mamba takes the first big point of Dead or Alive for Man. Huge play for Black Mamba. Had some great counters to kind of set the tone. Had a great combo in there that really helped him a lot. And he kind of stuck the throws and counters, and that really worked really well against Offbeat Ninja. The other thing that's working against Offbeat Ninja is this level. Offbeat Ninja is the kind of player that likes to back up a little bit. He likes his opponent to come to him, and he likes to have room to work with. You're exactly right. In this room, or in this particular arena, you don't have that much room to work with. And Offbeat Ninja starts off with an onslaught of attack, but we do see Black Mamba come back finally. Now we see Offbeat Ninja laying on the pressure and the aggression. Two low sweeps coming out by Mamba. Goes in, uses that low stand. Huge throw for Offbeat Ninja, and he ties it up one to one. Black Mamba needs every round that he can get fatality. Right now we're tied one to one, and I had an expectation that this was going to be a close matchup. You know, I really thought a little bit different, but you know, Black Mamba showed a lot of uh, good counters, a lot of good throws right now. I'm going to beat her and see if he can hold it up. And wow, Offbeat Ninja doing almost 40% damage to his opponent. Black Mamba coming right back, putting a throw into the ropes. Goes for that launch move, takes out his opponent. Nice bait by Black Mamba, goes for the low hit. But we see the move come out, and there it is, the low hit. Offbeat Ninja wins his second round, and it's 2-1. to one. You have to get away from those walls, because not only when you get hit, Turns those ropes to the wall that electrocute you and it causes more damage. You want to get away from those ropes. Right now, Offbeat Ninja has to lead two rounds to one, but as we said, Black Mamba's been very consistent versus Offbeat Ninja. And uh, it's, I, I'm not going to call anything early here, but I do believe Black Mamba has what it takes to get a few more rounds. Of course, Offbeat Ninja's going to do anything in his power to not let that happen. And he's 
starts off with two crushing combos there. Getting his opponent, Black Mamba, down to about 35%. And now you can see Oppie Ninja gone on the defensive just a little bit as Black Mamba sends out a flurry of punch and kicks. That time a little combo does hit with a low leg sweep, but Oppie Ninja only needs... One more hit, nice watch by Black Mamba. He'll get the combo, but Black Mamba jumps for the next attack and Oppie Ninja capitalizes. It is now three to one. The problem is with Black Mamba is that he's trying to counter and throw a lot. And the thing is, the percentage of guessing the right counter and the right right throw is about 20 to 25 percent chance of guessing the right move. So having those odds against you, you need to also be aggressive and attack. We're in round number five now. And we do have Black Mama starting things off. Nice throw by Opti Ninja getting off of the ground and immediately going for that grab. He'll get it a second time right here. And that will about even things up in this matchup. Nice double fist coming out by Opti Ninja. Turns that one into a six hit combo. Going in once again, both players baiting each other with attacks. Low sweep from Offbeat Ninja. We see Black Mamba go in. Yet we, again, we saw Black Mamba block Offbeat Ninja. Misses the throw. A counter comes out by Offbeat Ninja, and then he starts to capitalize. One more hit from Offbeat Ninja, and it is now game point. Four to one in favor of Carolina Core. And if you see what Offbeat Ninja did there, he was, uh, Black Mamba's throwing him, and what Bumpy does is hit the throw button as well, and it counters the throw. So there's no throw in play. Black Mamba really needs to pick up a few more rounds right here. But Offbeat Ninja, he's got five and one on his radar, and that's what he's going for. Starting off strong, goes for that huge, huge fist, and it will be countered there by Black Mamba. That was a good counter, stopping that attack. Nice job by Offbeat Ninja once again, or excuse me, by Black Mamba once again. We saw a missed attack by Offbeat Ninja, and Black Mamba capitalized on it. And a second time right there, we're about even 35%. This is going to come down to who makes the mistake. Beautiful counter by Black Mamba. And another one to stay alive. It is 4-2. to two. That was one line. Get ready! Those big kicks from Offbeat Ninja are just asking to be countered there by Black Mamba. If he could keep his timing on, anticipate his opponent's move, I could see him winning another round. And right now he's already got Offbeat Ninja down to about 40%, now 30%. Offbeat Ninja though getting a launch, turning it into a five-hit combo, Put, putting his opponent up against the ropes now. We see Black Mamba going in, using that duck, nice throw. Black, uh, Offbeat Ninja down to about 10%. And there's the high kick. I believe that Black Mamba was trying to counter that. And here it is. No, one more hit will do it. Black Mamba still has a chance. And no, the low leg sweep lets Offbeat Ninja win it. Five to two. Five to two. Black Mamba just started finding that groove near the end of the match. But Offbeat Ninja shows why he is the number one dead or alive Great male Washington player in the CGS. Let's check out the scoreboard because this does a lot for the Carolina Core. Only two games remaining, Counter-Strike and PGR. And it is 12 for Carolina, 4 for Chicago. Can Chicago come back? We're going to find out. But first, down to Stryker. He is the best DOA player at the CGS. Hold on. That thing is racing. How do you feel right now? I feel insane, man. My heart's beating. I'm shaking. Hands are shaking. I just, I feel, I don't know. It's great. It's great. I, I think we're going to take this now. Like, we got a huge lead going into it. Uh, we got that buffer for PGR because, of course, they have the strongest PGR players. So I'm feeling really confident. Very nice. Now, what about the first round? Was it nerves or was he just on fire? Uh, he's actually on fire the first round. I know just real quick to how he was playing. And then, uh, then I changed, came back, and ended up winning. Congratulations. Offbeat Ninja, best DOA4 player here at the CGS. Let's keep this thing going. My man Farouk. Take it.